Hello guys, welcome to We Throttle. Today we are here at Asco Motors uh, Kawasaki dealership Chandigarh to take a look at the new motorcycle that Kawasaki have launched. It's the Kawasaki Versus X300. So let's take a look how the motorcycle is. First thing first, the X300 looks tall and it looks like a big bike, although narrow from the front but still have a big boy attitude and the big fairing does a pretty good job here. Starting with the front wheel, the X300 comes equipped with a 19 inch front rim which is good for off-roading and it can tackle the rough patches on the road as well at the same time and it comes equipped with a dual piston Nissan brake calipers and a Kayaba front shock. The rear wheel is a 17 inch unit and comes equipped with a single piston brake caliper and a monoshock with 148mm suspension travel. Both the tires used on the motorcycle are IRC. Coming on to the engine, it's a 296cc two-cylinder DOHC motor which produces 25.7 Nm of torque at 10,000 rpm and 40 PS at 11,500 with 6-speed gearbox. The seat height is 815mm which will surely help the short riders. The wheelbase is 1450mm which makes it stable on the highways and is almost 30mm more than the Versus 650. The fuel tank is 17 litres and considering it's a smaller engine, it would be much more efficient. Now the bike comes equipped with a few goodies which makes it a little hard on the pocket and they are the engine guard and the crash bars with auxiliary lamps mounted on it. Then there's one sided pannier. There's the radiator guard. The hand guards. A DC output. A center stand. But misses out on this kit plate. So let's take a look at the meter now. Uh, you have all the information here on the meter. As you can see the RPM uh, range goes up to 15,000 RPM because you get the maximum torque at uh, 10,000 and the maximum horsepower at 11,500. And also the ABS light it's there. Uh, ABS is standard in the motorcycle. Uh, you cannot switch it off. Also you have the gear position indicator which is quite handy. Then you have the clock available here. Uh, the fuel gauge is right here on the top, uh, the temperature gauge is just below the fuel gauge and uh, if you can see it's the auto meter, it's one kilometer on the auto. Then you have trip A, then you have trip B, below is the speedometer and uh, below all of this as you can see you have the average, the range that you can go up to and the mileage which is in kilometers per liter let's listen to the exhaust note now I think Kawasaki has taken a step further and everyone is looking for a smaller capacity motorcycle which they can take to places because it's lightweight, it's only 184 kilograms. So guys, I hope you like the motorcycle and Kawasaki has offered a really good motorcycle that can take you to uh, different places and it's a lightweight bike. I hope we'll get the motorcycle very soon for uh, the test ride and once we get it, I'll definitely post a video if you like this video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.